This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Maribel Rodriguez. A three-year-old girl and a six-year-old boy are among four people shot in Northwest Miami-Dade. Police tell us a group was standing outside a home just before six last night when a person drove up in a black sedan, got out and started shooting. This was on Northwest 2nd Avenue near 151st Street. The kids and two adults were stable but rushed to the hospital. If you have any information, you're urged to call police. And an investigation underway following a deadly deputy-involved shooting in Dana Beach. It began yesterday as a traffic stop on Sterling Road. The Broward Sheriff's Office says they stopped the car because of a possible stolen tag, and that's when deputies say the armed driver ran off. At some point during the foot chase, shots were fired. In a whole circle swerving around, and then they block him off. He gets out, the car starts running, and then about 30 seconds later, like 20 bullets go off. A BSO spokesman says crime scene detectives will review body cam footage, surveillance, and witness statements to determine what happened. Now to the coronavirus pandemic. More than 4,600 new people in Florida have been infected with COVID-19. About 1,500 of them are in South Florida. And 41 more people have died in our state because of conditions related to the virus. Two weeks average rate of positive tests is now above 7% in both Miami-Dade and Broward. The biotech company Moderna says it has developed a shot that's nearly 595% effective and able to prevent severe illness. The University of Miami's Miller School of Medicine is one of 89 sites in the U.S. where the Moderna trial is being conducted. So far, the, the preliminary results show that the vaccine is effect, not only effective, but also safe. We have not seen severe adverse events. It is an incredibly encouraging event and such a strong step in the correct direction to stop COVID transmission. The news comes a week after drug maker Pfizer said its vaccine candidate was almost also more than 90% effective. Moderna says with emergency approval from the FDA, FDA, it could start giving the shots to high risk patients and healthcare workers as soon as next month. Now, CBS4 weather. Happy Tuesday. A cold front is on the way and it's a nice start this morning. However, a few showers moving across parts of Broward County. Heavier rain around Palm Beach if you're heading that direction. And throughout the day today, the rain chance is higher. We'll see the breeze building out of the northeast with scattered showers. Highs in the low 80s tonight will be cooler as we'll see low 70s along the coast. Inland areas will be the coolest with the mid to upper 60s by tomorrow morning. A light sweater, a light jacket, feeling more like fall at least the middle to end of the week with highs in the upper 70s. Breezy to windy at times with a chance for we're passing showers as we head into Friday and into the weekend. Highs around 80 degrees. And that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMommy.com and tune into CBS4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's important headlines.